Today, January 27th, we celebrate the feast of St. Angela Marisi, founder of the Company of St. Ursula, in which women dedicated their lives to the service of the Church through the education of girls. Angela was born to an Italian farming family, the older of two sisters. Angela felt called to the holy life at an early age and she received formal religious education, committing herself daily to prayer and song. As a young woman, she became a member of the Third Order of St. Francis and lived a life of great austerity, wishing, like St. Francis, to own nothing, not even a bed. Early in life, she was appalled at the ignorance among poorer children whose parents could not or would not teach them the elements of religion. Angela's charming manner and good looks complemented her natural qualities of leadership. Others joined her in giving regular instruction to the little girls of their neighborhood. She was invited to live with a family in Brescia, where she had been told, in a vision, she would one day found a religious community. Her work continued and became well known. In 1524, she eagerly took the opportunity for a trip to the Holy Land. When they had gotten as far as Crete, she was struck with blindness. On the way back, while praying before a crucifix, her sight was restored at the same place as it had been lost. Saint Angela was almost 70 when she died in 1540. Her body remained incorrupt for 30 days. She was canonized on the 24th of May, 1807 by Pope Pius VII. Saint Angela Marisi is considered the patron saint against sickness and bodily ills, disability and the loss of parents. She is the patroness of orphans, the disabled and the mentally challenged. Saint Angela Marisi, pray for us.